Hello and welcome back. In today's video, we'll be talking about the incredible story of Elizabeth Freeman, a woman who fought for her freedom and became one of the first African-American women to win her freedom in court. And this is her story. Elizabeth Freeman was born into slavery in Claverick, New York, around 1744, on the farm of Peter Hogebum, and was known as Mumbet. Hogebum's daughter Hannah would marry John Ashley, and Hogebum gave Elizabeth to them. Elizabeth would give birth during this time. Her owner, Hannah, was abusive and strict, and at one point attempted to strike a young girl, Elizabeth, which shielded the girl from the strike, receiving a deep wound. She refused to cover it up, keeping it as evidence of the brutal treatment. In 1781, Elizabeth may have overheard a conversation between Colonel Ashley and a group of his friends discussing the recently adopted Massachusetts Constitution, which stated, All men are born free and equal and have certain natural, essential, and unalienable rights, among which may be reckoned the right of enjoying and defending their lives and liberties, that of acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, and fine, that of seeking and obtaining their safety and happiness. Elizabeth decided to take action, and with the help of Theodore Sedwick, a lawyer, she filed a lawsuit for her freedom. The case was heard before the County Court of Common Pleas in August of 1781. Sedwick and another lawyer, Tapping Reeve, argued that the statement, all men are born free and equal within the Massachusetts Constitution effectively abolished slavery in the state. The lawsuit became known as Brom and Bett versus Ashley. The trial was a groundbreaking moment in American history, as it was one of the first legal cases in which the concept of slavery was challenged on the grounds of the new Constitution. The judge ruled in favor of Elizabeth, declaring that slavery was incompatible with the new state constitution, and she was granted her freedom. After winning her freedom, Elizabeth took on the name Elizabeth Freeman and began a new life. Ashley would ask Elizabeth to work for him as a paid laborer, but she declined, instead choosing to work in the Sedwick household. After the Sedwick children entered into adulthood, Elizabeth would move to Stockbridge to be closer to her daughter. Her true age was never known, but she would die at an estimated age of 85 in December of 1829. She would be buried in the Sedwick family plot, the only non-Sedwick buried there. Elizabeth Freeman's courageous fight for freedom helped pave the way for the abolition of slavery in Massachusetts and played a significant role in the fight for civil rights in the United States. Her story continues to inspire people today and she is remembered as a trailblazer and a hero. That concludes her story of Elizabeth Freeman, a freed slave who fought for her rights and helped change the course of history. I hope you found this video informative and inspiring. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you for watching.